GMAT quant counting. Let's do some counting problems and learn the basics of counting. How many suits can be developed from three shirts and four pants? So here, the first shirt can go with any of the four pants. So four possible sets can be made. Okay. Similarly, the second shirt and the third shirt can also go with the four pants. So four and four more choices for the second and third shirts. It means the total number of choices is four plus four plus four equals 12 choices. Or simply we can say because there are three shirts and four pants, so the total number of choices is three times two, four equals 12. Okay, let's do another problem. In how many ways can a worker enter uh, and exit a building if there are four doors and she always enters and exits from a different door? So first of all, how many entry options does she have? Four. How many exit options? One less. There is three because she cannot enter and exit from the same door. So how many are the total options? Three times four. That's twelve. Okay. How many possible combinations of a four digit lock can be made if all digits zero to nine are available to be used? So our problem is this. There are four places to be filled and we can have any number from zero to nine. So in the first place, we can have any number from zero to nine. There are 10 digits. So there are 10 different options for the first place. Similarly, for the remaining three places we have the same 10 choices available it means the total number of combinations are 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 which gives you 10,000 so we can make 10,000 different combinations from for this lock now if there's a constraint if the question says how many possible combinations of a four digit lock can be made if all digits have to be different? So here the first place we have 10 options, but the, for the second place we don't have 10 options, we have one less option. So there are nine options for the second place because one number, one digit has already been placed in the first slot. Similarly for the third one we have eight options, for the uh, fourth one we have seven options. So the total combinations possible will be 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 which is equal to 5040 zero, zero. so we can see with this constraint the number of available choices is almost halved okay that's it we'll do more advanced problems in the coming videos thank you